Hey, what's up guys? Jose Otero here for IGN with... Tim Geddes. There we go. And Tim and I are here to talk about something very important. So, this Friday marks the release of Pokemon X and Y, which is a really big release for Nintendo and for the 3DS. And so, it shouldn't be outside of the realm of possibility that within the next two weeks, we'll be hearing a new uh, Smash Brothers related announcement. My guess is it'll probably be a Pokemon related yeah. announcement. Well, the reason you say this is because for the last couple of Nintendo Directs, there's been Smash Bros announcements of characters based on whatever game they were talking exactly. about. Exactly. Right? We saw Toon Link, then we saw Sonic. Well, we saw Luigi when they were talking about the That's right, too. Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Then mm -hmm. we saw Toon Link with Wind Waker. Then we see um, Sonic with Lost World. That's right. So, makes sense. Okay. Pokemon X and Y. Looks like we get a new, a new a Pokemon rep, no, but no. which one? There's been a lot. So, who, who do you think? Just asking you, you are think, one of I'm our saying, resident Smash experts, by the way, for, for the folks at home to know yeah, that. Yeah, I think that um, the safe bet is Pokemon Trainer, and I think it'd be the original Pokemon so Trainer. So you bring back Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, I don't think they're going to go with the next mm. and Y one. Okay. Um, Gen 1 is by far the most popular. Okay. And like Charmander, Ivysaur, I mean Charizard, Ivysaur, and Squirtle, like come on. Yeah. Like, no other starting Pokemon are near the popularity of that. Well, and you look at X and Y, and there's mega evolutions for each one. Do exactly. those work into this theory? Or? Um, I don't know. Maybe the Final Smash, but so far with what we've seen of Smash Bros, like with the Final Smash and stuff, they seem like they're playing it safe and just doing what they used to do. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was just the same as it was. Another character that they could announce would be Mewtwo. I feel like that would be the more interesting choice. Bring him back, because he's kind of been like the poster boy for the... Uh, Mega Evolution yeah. stuff going also on. Also for the movies a bit in Japan, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's like he's been more in the, the limelight again for the first time in a while. And even though he wasn't in Brawl, they had Lucario. I doubt it'd be Lucario. Why not? Well, because right. Lucario hasn't this. been popular for a while. And that's a big statement, but like, okay. you know, he's, he, has he, is one of, he is one well. of the Mega Evolutions because he is oh. one of the more popular Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But Gen 4, you know, we're on Gen 6 now? Yes, we are. Like, that's crazy. You know, mm -hmm. and I think having Mewtwo with maybe a Mega Evolution form in some way would rep Gen 6 and would rep the new generations of Pokemon, whereas Pokemon Trainer brings it back. We got Pikachu, Jigglypuff's almost for sure going to be in it. She's been in every one as a secret character. So. Okay. So I think I'm going to go out on a limb and say I think the new Pokemon for this game would be Blaziken. Blaziken has a Mega Evolution. I think they're trying to play that up a bit. Um, he's a character that hasn't really been a, a face for the series, but I feel neither was Lucario. But he was from Gen, I think that's three, three, which was Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. Um, it would just be an interesting choice, but honestly, I like the Mewtwo theory more. Yeah. I think that would be a lot more fun. I would be absolutely shocked if a Gen 3 Pokemon made okay. it into this game. Yeah. But who knows? Okay, well, it's it, now the ball is in your co court, ladies and gentlemen. What would you pick for the uh, Pokemon in Smash Brothers? Uh, would you just settle for one? Leave us an answer in the comments below. I want Pichu back. And for all things Pokemon and Smash Brothers, keep it right here on IGN.